It's a beautiful night for high school hockey in Western Pennsylvania as we bring the action indoors to Ice Castle Arena to present the Fox Chapel Foxes and the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars. Triple A hockey, PIHL action on JRM Sports in partnership with 10 Band TV. We welcome you to our broadcast perch. Austin Bechtel, Nathan Breisinger alongside here tonight. So it's almost as if maybe pulling your goalie is not what you want to do. Oliver with it behind the net. Has stock with him. Oliver. Also has blows there. Best calls for it. Oliver's shot. Might have rung off the post. Now best. Best on the opportunity. Tried to poke it in front. Still behind the net. Best has McCann up top if he elects to use him at the blue line. Best still has it and pokes it over. McCann with another opportunity. McCann shot deflected around a couple of times. It in! Thomas Jefferson ties it with 154 to go. McCann's shot went all the way in. Deflected around a couple of times and think it's going to go. The goal for Connor McCann is third of the year. Just pinballing all around. Wow. That came all the way off strip matter and bounced back in off Watson. That was well wide. Love to get another look at that, but I mean, we just talked about it. They were just going to fire at will on the net. And McCann, we just had talked about him. He's he a lot of great things in his hockey career. Drafted 132nd overall by the Phoenix Coyotes in the 2002 NHL entry draft. And we take a look at some of the highlights from his team. And a lot of goals early and often, as well as a lot of penalties. How about that one? Sharp shot from Tucker Cullen, the freshman, his eighth of the year. Cullen scored, Don Casil scored, William Wiseman as well. The penalty shot, though, that was missed. Great opportunity for the Foxes and Nathan Sarah. Just went wide. Andrew Oliver is 13th of the year. Leads everybody other than William Wiseman, who's been fantastic. Is 16th of the year earlier as take a look at some of the goals that have just batted around a couple of times and the last one going Thomas Jefferson's way. There's that one that ended up pulling Porupski on that Casile just shot from the corner, odd angle shot. Threw it off Porupski's back. So it'll be Allen on the faceoff. Oliver is also out there with stock. 8.3 to go in the offensive zone. One back though by Fox Chapel. Two seconds and one, and we're going to overtime. Three, three, the score. We'll take a short break and be back after this on JRM Sports with 10 Man TV. Here's Best. Stock with Best. Stock shot. Not there. Best with an opportunity. Standing alone. Best. It goes in. Thomas Jefferson wins in overtime. Nick Best, game winning goal, fourth goal of the year, and the All Star wins it for the Jaguars. Thomas Jefferson just staying with it the whole way. The toe drag by Stock, waiting out the defender, and then Best just turns. He says, give me some uh, give me some sp time and space, and I'll bury it on you there. 4-3, Thomas Jefferson wins it in the extra frame against the Fox Chapel Foxes. TJ, now 20 points on the season. What a performance back and forth by these two teams as Nick Best had it all alone and an opportunity to celebrate. A lot of credit to Grant Watson. I mean, he, he played really well on a ton of shots thrown his way, 36 total on the evening, and Nick Best just standing there with plenty of space, and he's able to rip it in. Watson got a little bit of it, but not enough, and a ton of pretty goals tonight, picking the corners for both teams and what was an exciting and entertaining hockey game here in the PIHL.